I think one of the biggest problems with our system is that the primary internal assessment that we use is standardized basic skills third grade reading and math scores. That's the only thing that we look at to determine whether schools are successful or unsuccessful. Contrast that with lots of countries around the world focused on learning as opposed to a narrow definition of achievement and on the skills that young people would need in order to be successful. So for, for example? So uh, complex problem solving, research, analytical skills, the ability to work collaboratively. Whereas here, we're still focused on a basic level of proficiency that don't even represent the types of knowledge and skills our kids will need in order to be successful when they graduate. So one of the things everyone focuses on is teacher quality, teacher training. How do other countries train their teachers compared to the way we do it here? President Obama has seemed to indicate very clearly that he recognized the value of investing deeply in teaching. This is what Finland understood and it's what allowed them to transform their education system in just 20 years, which when you think about transforming a system is actually a pretty quick amount of time. And what they did is they recognized that uh, first we're only going to accept the best and the brightest, so it's very hard to get into teacher training programs. If you get in, you receive a full year of residency paid for by the government. You're working in a collaborative and supportive environment. And as a result, Finland is able to assess their children almost entirely with local assessments. So as opposed to what we do here where we have national exams um, where the folks grading it are very far removed from the kids. When you study different educational systems across the world, what kind of really stands out to you in terms of a conversation about improving education? I think you can tell so much about the prospects for education reform in any country based on the questions that they're asking. I was just in Australia and I was struck by the appropriateness of the questions that were being asked. To what extent can we provide even greater transparency so that we know if our schools are having an equal opportunity to support kids? Uh, what are the skills that young people will need in order to be successful? Right now in the U.S., we haven't even been asking the right questions.